Hey guys, this is Senior Spicy Nuts. Uh, I am here to do a book and, well, I guess TV show review about Game of Thrones. I just finished the first book uh, a couple days ago, and then I finished the TV show, the first season anyway, because the seasons, of course, from what I can gather so far, they go along with each book, like one season is, each, is one book, so. <clears throat> but yeah, so. I read the book of the Game of Thrones and I was pretty happy with it. Um, if you like stuff kind of like the Lord of the Rings, or <clears throat> that's kind of what this is like, except with, with like less magic and, and shit like that. It's very fictional, and uh, I do have to say, if there by any chance there are any uh, parents watching, wondering if this book is okay for their kids, um, I would suggest probably not, because there's a lot of graphic scenes in there that go into very specific detail <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't, all in all this has been a really good book and um, I'm actually already started on the second one and I'm gonna watch the next season and I will give another review for the book um, I would give it probably a four out of five stars okay so to describe the book I would just kind of like it says in the title it's the Game of Thrones it's uh, a bunch of houses or clans or whatever you want to call it kind of fighting for the throne of the seven kingdoms in the book. To describe the book, I do have to say that it's not super action-packed, like there's not a bunch of fighting. Yeah, this book is basically the setup for the rest of the series. Normally, the first book is always kind of slow in a series, so if you're kind of iffy on this book, I would say read, go into the next one. Definitely just to make sure that you really don't like it. Because if you can get yourself all the way through this book, I guarantee that you'll like the next ones even more. So, again, like I said, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars for the book. And the TV show, I do have to say, I, it was okay compared to the book. But they did change some things, which I didn't care for. But I would say give the TV show a watch because it kind of puts faces to characters and some parts that are confusing in the book actually get explained because you can see what's happening and you can see what characters are saying these things. So I do recommend to maybe watch or read the book and then watch the TV show right after it. That way you'll kind of maybe get a little better understanding of what's happening. So that's my review. Um, Hope this helps. Thank you guys.